Hi guys, Scarfy Spurs, okay, here with your daily Spurs update for Tuesday the 30th of August 2023 with the transfer window uh, shut tomorrow, so stay tuned throughout today's video to find out what is happening about the club we all love, Tom Hotspur. If you're new to the channel, don't forget to smash the subscribe button, it's free to do so and helps the channel grow. Turn the notifications bell on so you don't miss any, any of my content. Like this video, leave a like and get involved in the comments because I'll get back to you as soon as possible. So let's crack into it, shall we? Firstly, James Madison has been named in the latest England squad uh, ahead of upcoming three games fixtures against Ukraine and Scotland, so congratulations to Madison. Uh, Tottenham are set to hold further talks with Nottingham Forest tomorrow over the signing of Brendan Johnson. That's some Sky Sports news. Tottenham Hotspur midfielder Piero Hoiberg remains the desired one for Atletico Madrid uh, manager Diego Simeone as he continues to look uh, for a new defensive midfielder for his squad. That is from D Diario AS. Tottenham Hotspur are set to make a late attempt to sign Chelsea's Conor Gallagher, who's also on the Bayern Munich radar. That's from Jacob Skinsberg via Guardian Sport. That just isn't going away. That that you know Gallagher talks to Tottenham. Um, so you know part of me thinks that it could happen, but at the same time, will Chelsea do business to Tottenham? Let me know what you think. Inter Milan have not submitted any formal bid for Tangan and Dombele whatsoever yet. Just asked for the conditions of the deal, waiting for the internal decision. Galatas Roy remain keen on signing Dombele in case of any European loan deal collapses. Interesting. Spurs in talks with Eisberg over a potential move for Jaffa Tanganga. Permanent deal and loan being discussed. Spurs want the former um, the former former offer. So that is from Charlie Eccleshare. Uh, for who we know is a Spurs Corobot respondent for the Athletic UK. Tottenham are open to offers for Hugo Lloris, Sergio Regulon, Pierre Hoybe, Dan Sanchez, Brian Gill and even Ivan Perisic as they re look to reduce their squad for the closure of the transfer window on Friday night. That's from Matt Law, who's a Daily Telegraph football news correspondent and quite reliable. Dane Scarlett signed a new contract with the club until 2027 and joined Championship side Luton on loan for the 2023-24 season. Uh, so congratulations and good luck to Dane Scarlett. Um, Dane Scarlett on his loan move to Ipswich today and I'm really excited to get started here. I found out I was officially moving yesterday but the move has been in the works for a few weeks. I remember playing against Ipswich last season, it was a good game, I liked the way the team played so I'm really looking forward to being part of that this season. Jeff Tanganga no cl now close to joining German side Augsburg on loan deal from Tottenham. Loan move will also include a buy option clause which is being discussed right now, that's from Fabrizio Romano. Uh, talks between Fulham and Tottenham Hotspur began with Pierre Hoiberg at the club as they look for Paulinho replacements in case he leaves. Atletico Madrid hopes Spurs lower their demands for Pierre Hoiberg to allow them to enter the race before the transfer window closes at 11 p.m. UK time on Friday night. That's when he's like Kinsella via Standard Sport. They're looking for Tottenham to accept 30 or 35 million instead of 40, I think. Uh, Fulham are negotiating a deal with Tottenham Hotspur. Uh, out of favour midfielder of Pierre McHoybeg as Marcus Silva looks to add more Premier League experience to his side. Fulham hope to beat their Spanish competition to Hoybeg's signature and are ready to buy the player now rather than wait another year to do so. Hoybeg is expected to leave Spurs while the transfer window closes tomorrow night at 11pm. Man United interest sparked Atletico to reopen talks for him. The Spaniards want loan plus option to buy but Spurs want a permanent deal. Fulham are ready to buy him now though so that looks like the most likely and that's from Simon Jones via the male sport. That is interesting. Tottenham considering possible move for Lloyd Kelly uh, from Bournemouth in the last 24 hours. No formal bid concrete yet as it depends on outgoings. Spurs need players to leave to make this happen. Bournemouth would need to replace Kelly. Not easy. Also, Eric Dyer could be offered as part of the deal. That is for Fabrizio Romano. And Sergio Regulon has completed medical ahead of his move from Tottenham to Manchester United. 26-year-old joining on a season-long loan with break clause in January. Potential option to leave. No fee or buy option whatsoever, but Man United are covering the full salary. And we're about also on track. I don't need to worry about that. That is from David Austin, who's a football correspondent for the Athletic UK that lots of Spurs have to rely on. And that is your daily Spurs update. Longer one today, you expect, getting towards the end of the transfer window. Deadline day eve. And that is from Thursday. Thursday, uh, sorry, yeah, Thursday, <laughs> got confused there, Thursday, um, 31st of August 2023, uh, if you like the video, smash the like button, and don't forget to subscribe to the channel, appreciate all the love recently, we've grown massively, so thank you for all your support, uh, massively appreciated, uh, turn the notifications bell on so you don't miss any of my content, get involved in the comments, we'll get back to you as soon as possible, and join me tomorrow for the final day special update, so the transfer window close, closes at 11pm, there also might be a late uh, deadline day special stream 
Let me know in the comments below. Do you want to see a deadline day special stream? If you do, comment below and we can make it happen here at Scott Office First. But as we always say on this channel, common you Spurs. Oh,